Hey everyone, Steve from Fast Product Photography Services here. After you finish this video, if you need any product photos taken for your Amazon products, or really anything e-commerce, come visit us at Fast Product Photography using the link in the description. Thanks. Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at a couple of different options for making lines. And specifically what we're gonna look at is um, putting a pointer on the edge of each line and then we could do also on both sides and it's very very simple so this should not be a long video so let's dive right into it we're going to go into a blank screen here and um, I, I believe i have it set to do just a standard line at this point let's see yep okay great so let's go and just select a certain point and what we want to do if you don't already know you can hit shift and it'll make it a nice straight line like such and then just release and you can see how this is a very very thin line let's for for this demonstration let's make sure we're selected on the line let's go up to the stroke thickness and then let's make it a little bit thicker let's go to 20 pixels okay hit enter and there you go so that's how you can adjust the thickness you just have to adjust the thickness of the stroke so Let's move on to putting a pointer on the edge of a line similar to this. So all you have to do while you're still selected on the line, go up to the preferences gear wheel here, and then it'll show you the different options. And what we want to do for this one is for arrowheads, we want to select, we want to select N. And here you can show the different width that you could do for the arrowhead and the different length that you could do for the arrowhead and then even a little bit of concavity. Um, so let's go ahead and select here and you can see how the arrowhead's already on there. And let's hit shift just to make it straight to go along with the other one. We'll release it there and it's already set to 20 pixels. We could adjust that if we wanted to. So let's leave it at 20 pixels, hit enter. And there you go. You've got yourself a line with an arrowhead on it. And to do on both sides, it's the same thing. Just go in there and select the one for start. And of course, you could do it just as start with no end. But um, for this, we're just going to do a start and an end. And we'll just go below that one. Start there. Hit shift. Make it straight. And match it up. It's already at 20 pixels, the same thickness that we want. Hit enter. And there you go. You've got a regular line. You've got a line with an ending arrowhead. And you've got a line with a starting and an ending arrowhead. And really, it's that simple. Uh, so you guys can use this over and over again. It's a, it's a nice and simple technique, and there's all kinds of applications. Uh, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.